Welcome, everyone, to the second installment of the Naked Power Hour. I'm Jake. Uh, I'm also Jake. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, my... Dude, we're starting this one on a zinger, let me tell ya. Oh, my goodness. Man, I, I'm, I'm king of comedy, baby. That's what they called... That's what they called me in, uh, kindergarten. <laughs> Probably because you're always... Stand up. You always poo-pooed your pants in front of everyone. Uh... You cannot confirm that, so it's not true. <laughs> uh, how's your uh, week been, Nate? How's your flipping week been? Um, well, uh, it was somebody's birthday. Uh, <laughs> and that would be Jake. He, he turned 16 years old. Heck, yeah, I did. I'm looking at my vehicle right now. It is gray. Yeah. See? With yeah. the joking nature of this podcast, you can't tell if I was joking about him turning 16. Oh, I could be oh, turning 12. 16? I could be turning 22. You would never know. Uh, Please don't be turning 12. That would mean I'm associating with a minor. Oh, shoot. Uh, I right. can't go back to jail. Not again. They have other guys there, and I get really easily demasculated. Ew, dude. Other guys? Oh, disgusting. Oh. Unbelievable. Dude, okay, we got to have two minutes of Rona chat it, because no one no one wants to hear about it, but we have to talk about it because it's in the news right now because, you know, it's a pandemic and all. Okay, yeah, hold on. Let me start a thing that's happening. Let me start a two-minute timer. This is, uh... <coughs> okay, go. Welcome talk about Rona. Rona. Talk with. You interrupted me. I was doing an intro. Okay, go. <laughs> Welcome to Rona Talk with uh, Nate and Jake. Two minutes starts now. Okay. So we're reopening for some reason, I think. Hopefully we're reopening because everyone can't stay home because everyone's losing their jobs and applying for unemployment. And that's not yeah, fun. Uh, yeah, no. Um, But we're also still learning new things about the virus, which is mystifying that we're about to like reopen the country, but we're also still learning things about it. Yeah, like I'm, it's causing um, issues in young kids now. So I'm on both sides of the this this the spectrum. Um, <laughs> it's like yeah, I don't want everyone to leave because it'll spread, but I don't want everyone to stay home because the economy is going to poo poo town. Yeah, I think we should just uh file for bankruptcy as a country and then uh <laughs> to who who do you file bankruptcy to as a country? Uh England and then we just unrevolt. <laughs> it's like please take us back. In 1776 we uh caused the first revolution and uh the first ever revolution that happened. And then uh I hear it. your I hear your flipping dog. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, let me, let, let me go take care of that real quick. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. Needless to say, the dog will no longer be a problem. <laughs> that was, uh, that was not anything dangerous, I promise. <laughs> the police listening to this, uh, I promise. I pet my dog. Ha- have you had a it. dog before that dog? Yeah, uh, that was Maggie dog. She ran away after three weeks. Oh, that's not fun. Okay, Rona chat is officially over. Yeah, Rona chat is done. That's it. Uh, but yeah, Maggie dog. The reason we call her Maggie dog is because my sister's name is Maggie, and for some reason we just didn't feel like changing the name of the dog. Right. And so we just called her Maggie dog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, week one, she came up to me and almost bit my hand off, but instead she missed and ripped open my bag of Fruit Loops, and I was Fruit incredibly Loops. sad. And then two weeks later, she just disappeared and never came back. Bye. But the man hit. Bye, Maggie dog. But the uh, man history of pets is a very strange one, because after Maggie dog, like five years later, we got a uh, frog. That had six legs. What? And that is not a joke. Yeah. When it was growing from a tadpole to a full-fledged frog. Mm-hmm. Just sprouted two extra legs. 
Um, and it lived three months. Yeah, that's what happens when you're mutated. But now we have Jack. Yeah, Jack. we called it a teenage mutant ninja frog. <laughs> <laughs> funny. That was really funny. I had we had now we have Jack. We had a dog named Lucy, Lucy for 13 years, bro. Lucy was the my dog, literally. She yeah. was the best, and she was really high maintenance, and she was hard to deal with, but it was got to a point where it's like, I think that happens with every dog owner. We get to a point where it's just like, they're suffering, and they're no longer, like, it's not fun for them to be alive. So, like, why would you keep them alive? Yeah, but it's hard to let go of a pet. Especially one that you really held close. Luckily, I've yeah. never had to deal with that because uh, all my pets have been demons, except for Jack. Jack, <laughs> sweetie. I had um, but, I had fish. I had three fish, named after the <laughs> America's Got Talent judges at the time. I had Sh- I had Sharon, Howie, and Pierce. Howie lived two years. That was my my dude. But then we buried him in the backyard because he died. Yeah, did you ever hear about the uh, Finding Nemo controversy when it came out? Uh, no, explain. We were both super young when it came out. It came out in like 2006, I think, so you were two and I, I was two. Three. I was a little, I was a little yeah. diaper killer. Uh, but in the movie, which I really like, I like Finding Nemo. Trust me, I love Finding Nemo. It's a great movie. But when it came out, it said if you flush your fish in the ocean or in the toilet, then it'll go straight to the ocean. That is not true. So that was controversy? That is not true at all. Why did that Yeah, because a bunch of... Oh, kids were flushing their... Yeah, kids were flushing their fish down the toilet, and it just went straight into Pooh Town. (laughs) Why have we referenced Pooh Pooh Town twice in different different (laughs) contexts? We have incredibly highbrow comedy. (laughs) Pooh Pooh Town. (laughs) But, yeah... We went to Poo Town where they had blades to cut up the poop. And so oh my uh, gosh. A, bunch of, a bunch of sushi was made. Let's say that. Good grief. Why? Yeah. All these kids are just like, I want to send my fish to the ocean. Yeah, Disney, <laughs> Disney holds a power that they don't really understand. Because the same thing happened with Princess and the Frog. It was like kids went out to go kiss frogs and got warts on their mouth. Because they thought <laughs> it was going to turn into a prince. <laughs> stupid dumb I stupid dumb children I hate children Jake you can't say that we were kids once I hate kids kids get out get out of here we don't want you here get out of here if you're listening to this and you're a kid uh, keep listening because it gives us AdSense but uh, if you're not just oh yeah if, if, if once you get done get out are we supposed to do a stupid ad read on this uh, only if we get a thousand listeners, which we I mean, do not have yet. But we got to do the ad read, so we can get a thousand listeners, so we can make that fat stacks. That's right. So wait, wait, wait a minute, Jake. Hold on. Well, let's pause for half a second to make room for our amazing, amazing sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, let me explain. It's the easiest way to make a podcast. Firstly, it's free. And secondly, there's a bunch of creation tools that allow you to create, record, and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Thirdly, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Fourthly, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. That that includes us. We're, ma- we're making money from this. That's us right there. That's and lastly, us right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're making money right now. And lastly, it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app from the iTunes Store or on Google Play Store. Or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back from the ad read. We're Jake, back. Are you going to add some from the ad read, baby? That? Yeah, I'll add some royalty. Add some I'll add some royalty free stinking music. But yeah, thank you again to Anchor for giving us money so we can uh, provide for uh, our families. food in this trying time. <laughs> the magic right. conch uh, refused to give me food, so. Oh, la, 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 la. 
firstly, I want to talk about, or not firstly, we've already been talking for like 15 minutes, but uh, I want to thank everybody for listening last week. We got like close to 200 listeners on our first episode, which is crazy. I didn't even think anyone was going to care to listen through the whole thing. Not even kidding. Like, my I, mom, I, my mom literally, said she wasn't even going to listen. We literally appreciate it so much. Like, thank you. Big time. Yeah. So please lot. continue uh, to listen because they're just going to get better and better because the first time we were, it kind of sucked. Yeah, it it was our first podcast wasn't great, but we're still trying to get to uh a point where we can make it like the big leagues like uh uh I like can't the, think of any famous podcast. Logan pa- Logan Paul. Like Logan Paul. Impulsive. Yes, dude. That's such a good it's podcast. A really good podcast. Uh but yeah, just stick with us and uh please keep listening and keep sharing the podcast. We're on please, Spotify, please, SoundCloud, YouTube. Please, please I thank you. Please keep Please, ma'am. All right, I got a couple. Uh, Wait, you don't go ahead. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. And keep sharing with your mom and your dog. That's it. Don't share it with anybody else. Just your mom. Just your dog. Yeah, that's our target demographic: is canine and mothers. Heck yeah. We're like. And there's know- pictures of you sharing it with your mom and your dog. <laughs> Send us pictures of your dog, please. Yeah, please just do that on Instagram, please. All right, so I got a couple. Actually, I only have one question from oh. Le, Le Viewers. Well, it's a podcast, so they're listeners. Idiots. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, you, so from your friend. Stupid. That's me. I'm the stupid. From your friend, okay. Mc, McKenna. I don't name have a, any friends, so I already know this is a lie. Really funny, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Name a movie okay, that you ask me the question. Name a movie that you hate and ask why." Ask me the question. Name. Are, are you gonna ask me the question? Name you. You're supposed uh, to name hey, a. Ask me. Ask me the question. You're supposed to. I. <laughs> okay. Ask me the question though. Okay. Name a movie that you okay, hate. Okay. Ask me. Nate. <laughs> Stop. Name a movie that you hate and why. Oh, jeez. Um, I can I could not think of anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there's a movie that I really hate because a lot of movies that would just be like considered bad, I enjoy for ironic enjoyment. I talked about like, it last podcast. Lion King. I don't get it. I don't like it. All right. Oh uh, yeah. I. I you might like stab me with a pitchfork, which is appropriate, but I've never seen Lion King all the way through. That's why I don't now, like Lion it because it. One and a half. I lose interest. That's why I don't like it because I can't like. Ugh. I don't know. I've seen Lion King one and a half like seventeen times just because that's what we had when I was a kid. It was Lion King one and a half? But there was, there was uh, a, yeah, I've never a... seen. I've never seen. You gonna keep interrupting me? There was a one and a half. What? Yeah, it's uh basically, I don't know if it was like a thing at the time uh, or not, but it was basically Timon and Pumbaa watching the movie and making commentary about where they were during the events of the first Lion King. That's actually so cool. What the heck? How did I not know about this? Yeah, it's on Disney Plus right now. I would watch that before I watched the but Disney, stupid movie. Disney, Disney Plus is not paying us, so it's not on Disney Plus. Disney Plus is good. I like it. Uh, I I really cannot think of a movie that I just really literally hate. just hate. Like Lion King would be the closest for me. Um, I don't know. Like all the movies that people recommend to me, at first I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna like this at all. <laughs> but then, yeah, really great person. Yeah, I am. Yeah, really uh, cool guy, huh? But yeah, I end up liking all of them. So. McKenna, I'm sorry that I can't answer your question, but I really don't know of a movie that I hate. All right. Uh, I have actually a second question. Go. McKenna, that you posted to my Instagram, not yours. Go for it, brethren. Okay, this per- pertains to music once again, but we won't oh, spend 17 yeah. minutes talking about it this time. <laughs> okay. You can only listen to one album for the rest of your life. What would it be? Oh, my gosh. That's... Dude, come on. 
And it can't be like a collective like greatest hits or something like that. It's got to be like a re- original release album. What's yours? Uh, this might sound basic. Don't, I swear, don't hurt me. I swear if you say what I think you're going to say. What, what it, hold on. What do you think I'm going to say? No, say it. Say it. I know I know I All say right. it. 1 2 3 the Tug Beatles of War by Paul McCartney. I was close. Yeah. You I got, was close. One fourth right. I got one fourth I right. Think, I think Tug of War is a perfect album that makes his like the Beatles kind of style during the '60s and Paul McCartney's own uh, personal style. And it has songs that are slow, like Here Today, and fast songs like Take It Away. And it's just a really, really good album in my opinion. I should probably give that one a listen at some point. I have the vinyl if you want to. Come Dude, borrow it. That would be sick. I would drive to your house because I have my license now because I'm 16. He- oh, wow. That's so cool. I don't think I... I actually don't think I asked, though. So... <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. 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 And yeah. boom. Bruh. Bruh. Absolutely nothing happened. Nothing happened? Nope. What about now? Nope. You... you- you just you keep sucking it up, buddy. <laughs> I, I ruined it. it was You're to, ruining this podcast. Yeah, it was supposed this to. Was it was supposed to play a bra sound you, effect. You mean like this? No, Bruh. there you go. Yeah, before this, before that exact moment, this podcast was a premium experience, and now you're just <laughs> ruining it. It's Unbelievable! Like, it's it's not professional, Jake. Oh no! I'm gonna have to find a new host. Yeah, yeah. How about you do that? How about you? How about you try? How about that? hold on? People wanted us to shout them out, so I'm going to use this opportunity. I'm going to find a new host, like Brennan, or Brooks, or Susanna, or Josh, or or yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more friends. That's all of them. Just kidding. All yeah, our other friends. friends. Just kidding. That's that's a, that is a joke. <laughs> I'd like to make this formal announcement to tell you that that was a joke. Comedy. All right. Um, I got a, I got an album. Uh, I got an album. My album. I know you said no greatest hits, but ironically, uh, Remo Drive's first album, or not first, yeah, their first full length album was called Greatest Hits, but it's a little poke and a goof and a gaff at that it's just songs that they're releasing. It's not Greatest Hits because it's their first album. But yeah, Greatest Hits by Remo Drive is the album I would listen to for the rest of my life because it's really good and I like it. Uh, that's funny. Greatest hits, you are a comedy but, boy. In my opinion, it was their greatest hits because after that, they kicked out their drummer that recorded on that, and then now it's just the two brothers, and they got a new drummer, and they recorded new music, and they got signed to a label, and now it's not good. So uh, don't sell out, folks. Are you one of those people that's like, once they're not indie anymore, I don't really care No. for them? Once their music becomes not good, then I stop listening to them. But like a ton of bands have signed, and their music will continue continues to be good. But if you if you sign to a label that's gonna control you, then yeah, it's you're gonna change from what you were, and then you're making money, but it's just not good. You ever take a healthy gulp of water and a piece of ice just slides down your throat, and then it's just like. Mm. Uh, no, I do not have that reaction. It's like... <laughs> exactly like that. Dude, that's sick. Wait, how long have we been going oh, for? Awesome. How long have we been going uh, for? We've been going for exactly 25 minutes. Oh, wow. That's like um more than 20 minutes. Listen, Nate, I'm going to be honest with you. I got to hit a little boys room, go to the room with the boys. Um, So if you can carry the podcast for a bit, I will be right back. Oh, man. Little did he know, I, I he swear, the guy that literally just loves talking. If you if you talk about me, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about him. Okay, I think I think he's gone. Okay, guys, I'm serious. Jake sucks so much. Oh, he's leaving the room. Okay, door closed. Okay, what's up? It's a solo podcast now. Um. Okay, he's told me not to talk about him, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Cause. I uh, don't respect him. Jake sucks. Not a joke. Not a joke at all. Um, yeah, he he talks about himself all the time. 
the uh, drums really loud. I'm trying to sleep. Um, he talks over me. He kind of looks stupid. He shaves his head like an idiot. Uh, he has a really big butt. And it's not like, like, kind of, oh, wow, that guy's kind of hot because he has a big butt. But it's, like, absurdly big. Where when he turns around, it's kind of like a whole ordeal, like, oh, guys, Jake's turning around again. Oh, my gosh. He's <sighs> got to get out of the way out of his butt. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I don't know. Hello? I don't know why. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's up, man? Uh, how's it going? What were you saying? Uh, I swear. I was, just, I was saying really good things about you I the whole time. You were talking bad about me. I, I mean, you edit the podcast, so uh, oh, yeah, you're I right. mean, you're going to have to hear for yourself. I can confirm that um, the, the boys in the room were doing good. Wow, you went to the little boys' room, so you made that joke. Wow, that's so funny. <laughs> Does that mean you keep little boys in your house? Uh, uh. Huh? Uh, I hate yeah, kids. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've literally hate I've kids. I've already called the police. I hate kids. We've established this. Well, why don't you go to the little boys' room? Do you keep <laughs> little boys in your room? Because <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> okay, let's uh, change the bit before we get arrested. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so last week after the podcast, we asked some of the listeners to uh, send in information. Not information, but suggestions about uh, different bits or segments that they wanted us to do. And a lot of what we saw was people asking us to do movie reviews. Yes. Kind of like they respected our opinion or something. Uh, so <laughs> hear that. People who look down on me, people respect my opinion. So guess what movie we're Adam, doing? Guess what movie we're doing? We're actually a uh, really hipster and we're doing Scott Pilgrim versus the world. You probably never seen that movie. movie. You probably never seen that movie. It's really, it's really indie. No one's really seen it. I gotta be honest with you. You gotta go to like Netflix to see it, and nobody goes on Netflix. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I want to hear. Movie I want to review hear. is Scott Pilgrim. I want to hear your thoughts, and then I'll give mine. Okay, we're gonna do thoughts, and then at the end, we're going at the end of movie review segment, we're going to be doing a uh, out of ten rating. Sounds good to me. So. My thoughts on Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It is a really, really good comic adaptation. The original comic by Brian Lee O'Malley. And it's just very entertaining uh, through and through. And it's probably... This might sound weird because it's not like based off of a video game. But it's probably the best video game movie to have been made. Ever. Facts. Don't quote me on that. Big facts. Uh... Yeah, the editing style, the acting style is just really good. Uh, it's not a flawless movie. I don't think any movie is flawless. That, so it makes art pretty pretty neat. You probably haven't seen Shrek 3 then, uh, I guess. You mean Shrek 4 Ever After with uh, Rumpelstiltskin, the yeah. best movie to come you out of ever? You said there's no perfect movie. I mean, uh, whatever. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. It's your opinion. It's your I opinion. Like, uh, uh, um, I'd like to formally retract my former statement. <laughs> Shrek Four Ever After, uh, featuring Rumpelstiltskin, is perfect and flawless, <laughs> and should be forever protected in the halls of movie. Thank you. But the the, <laughs> the halls of movie. Yeah, there's just like a really long hall in New York. This is a, bu- a bunch of movies. It just says movie. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to movie. All right. Is that all your thoughts? It's pretty. It's really, really good. The editing style is very unique, and the directing style by Edgar Wright is super, super good. That's why he's one of my favorite directors. Um, and everything about it is just really fun, and it's one of the only movies that I can actually rewatch without getting bored or anything. There's always new information to find. But in the sake of not me not being long-winded, because I'm really good at that, Jake, what are your thoughts? My thoughts. Pretty much the same. It's really, really, really good. Um, it'll be entertaining to me every time I watch it. Like it's not. It has so much rewatch value. Um, it. My favorite part I think about it is in the end, even in the end of the movie when you've seen everything flesh out. Scott is a crappy guy, but the movie yeah, he's... makes you love him, and that's the best part. Is he's not a good guy, but the mo- movie yeah. makes you love him. Like that's super impressive. Like, I don't, I've been reading Hamlet for uh, school recently, and 
it, it's very similar. It's kind of like antagonist protagonist in a way. Yeah. Um, like Hamlet killed. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name now. But he killed a guy in cold blood because he was going insane and getting mad at his mother. And uh, he wasn't like he was the protagonist of the story, but he wasn't really a great guy. Right. Um, his actions might have been justified, but still, he wasn't great. And it's the same thing with Scott. Like, he's the protagonist. Like, he's the main character of the film, but he's really not a good guy. Like, he's such a bad guy that the inverse version of him, like the negative version of him, is a super nice guy. Like, <laughs> I forgot about that part. Him and the battle, like final battle, final battle between him and um his opposite self. They just like come to an agreement and want to go to lunch Wednesday, which is <laughs> very telling of Scott's character. Another thing about it is the stinking soundtrack. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh man. Fun fact, I bought Nate the soundtrack on vinyl for Christmas. So yeah. And I gave him a big slap on the behind as a reward. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that may or may not be true. You, you can't tell. You aren't there. You have no idea. But, yeah, I mean, it's one of the best movies I've ever seen, and I also like seeing it again. Another thing, D- Ramona. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Ramona Flowers. Dog. She's very attractive, but not a good person either. Dog. She is. Let's just move past. <laughs> Yeah, we we might talk about it for a long time. Uh, <laughs> he's very pretty. Mary but Elizabeth Winstead, if you're listening to this. Everyone uh, I talk sorry. to everyone I'm I talk not to not on the market. To, oh yes you are. Everyone I talk to doesn't get it. Like I'll show a picture of her and it's like, yeah, it's like, bro, you just don't get it, man. You don't get it. You don't understand. She is a ten. Speaking of ratings. Mary, of ratings. Ratings? Let's bring it to a pinnacle. What is your 1 to 10 rating on Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Um, My 1 to 10 rating on Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is 9. Ooh, 9. I was going to go, Um, mine will be 8. I was going to go one lower. Just because, just cause, like, it's really, really good and I like a lot about it. I'd but like to change my rating. To what? Eight point five. <laughs> Why? I was just doing some thinking. I think like nine is reserved. I don't think there's ever gonna be a ten out of ten movie, right? Personally, just because I don't know, a movie cannot be completely flawless. I don't think. I could be wrong. I'm not a film student. Somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, uh, have you seen Uncut Gems? It's <laughs> perfect." Have you not um, seen that movie that I can't pronounce? M I D S O M M A R. Have you not seen that one? Uh, Midsummer. Midsummer, Midsummer. I can't. I can't. I don't know. Did you see Parasite? Uh, Did you watch Parasite? I'm not. I've watched a. Really want to. I've watched a little bit of it with my dad, and it looks really good. I should probably give the whole thing a watch because I mean, it won like it won Best Picture with no English, which is crazy impressive. It ain't in English, so I can't understand it. You live in America, speak American. Thanks. Check your privilege. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then again, Green Book won Best Picture. So, are we really talking about good movies when we talk about Best Pictures? What's Ooh, Green Book? No. What's Green Book? Uh, it's the movie. That's it. <laughs> I was like, uh, um, it's the movie. Uh, it's a movie. Um. Oh, I've seen this. I I don't really know how. I've seen this. Explain what people who are attempting to be fake woke watch, and you're like, "Uh, yeah, I know about everything now." So, but yeah, it's, it's, the general consensus is it's not like a great movie. Hmm. So it won Best Picture. When? Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. Like, let me ask my old 20, Google machine. Twenty eighteen. I'm gonna turn every twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like it's crazy set that apart I from the different. 
It's crazy that I had barely hear, heard of this, and it won Best Picture. That's so weird. Yeah. It does have uh, Viggo Mortensen in it. He played Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. He was <laughs> very good. In, he was good in Lord of the Rings. I'll say that. Dude, I should probably keep up with mov- movies that are coming out now because, like, literally, the, we were in such a drought, I think, like, up until, like, 2018. And then we hit, like, yeah. this gold mine, and there's all these good movies coming out now. Like, none of these are, like, sequels or remakes, I don't think. Yeah, a lot of, um, I don't know, film culture on YouTube has been in, uh, has hit a massive, su- massive success recently. Yeah. And so it, movies are just being talked about more in the mainstream. Yeah, and A24 has, like, oh yeah, made all those stinking movies that are the huge ones. Like, oh my gosh. They made, um... I don't know, they're on top of the world. They made, I think, I think they made A Portrait of a Lady on Fire, uh, Midsummer. They did Uncut Gems. Gym. They did Hereditary, Lady Bird, Moonlight, Rami, wait, Rami, Rami, something like that, Euphoria. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty impressive. Uncut Gems is coming to Netflix May oh. 23rd, and I'm excited. Oh, I'm going to watch that in a heartbeat. I don't like Adam Sandler. But, I, I'm not a fan of Adam Sandler at all whatsoever. I don't like his comedy. His comedy is bad, and I've never, seen him, I've never seen him act in a serious movie up until Uncut Gems, so we'll just have to see if I like it. I'll see how, I'll see how it goes. Um, all right, change the subject. We've yeah. been talking about movies for a while. We really... We're just kind of quirky and hipster. We talk about movies. And- I like movies that aren't mainstream, so yeah, I'm better than you. Sorry, guys, if you had headaches from looking back and forth because this podcast has been bouncing all over the place. But we're keeping the we're keeping the energy up, <sighs> staying alive. What time are we at? Like thirty something? Thirty five minutes. Holy but, uh, darn! A little behind the scenes, you might see it in a video uh, later. But I took like. Five minutes to record one ad read. So. <laughs> he took like, oh my gosh! <laughs> but I gotta record it for the app later too. So let's we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, Hi, brother. What else you got to um, speak on? Let's see. Like we said, Corona is maybe on the decline. I don't know. We're not really sure about anything right now with that. I'm just yeah. um. We don't really know what is going on in the world. I don't keep up with current events. Stuck inside. I don't yeah, keep up with current. Oh, Kim Jong Un like is gonna die or whatever. Did you see that? Gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't notice that. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jay. <laughs> yeah, Kim Jong Un is. Of you. That's my that's my impression of you, Jay. Dude, you're really good at impressions, man. You should get a career in that. Hold on, T- check this out. This is my Obama. Um, President Trump. That was good, dude. This is the same no bit way. that I did last week with an Australian accent. I couldn't even tell that it was. Whoops. Couldn't even tell it wasn't you. I thought it was Obama on a podcast. Uh, Kim Jong Un. So like some America. surgeon, some surgeon messed Kim Jong Un up, and then now he's like, oh, rumor, yeah. he's rumored to be like a vegetable. I'm sorry, that's probably really mean. I shouldn't say that. He's rumored to have, Cut like, brain out. damage. Well, I don't... Did he already have brain damage? That guy's kind of insane. I mean, he's... Yeah, he's crazy. Uh, we probably shouldn't say that. We're going to get taken down. Like the interview. North Korean spies. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, <sighs> I don't know. I, I heard a little bit about that, but some people were saying, no, that's false, and some people were saying... Yeah, Trump is saying it's false. Like, fake news, but I don't know. Whatever. We'll see how the co- we'll see how the cookie crumbles. I don't know the world. Is, I'm not keeping up with current events that aren't really Corona in Alabama right now. Yeah, that's that's just what pertains to me. I hate and politics. I'm stuck inside, so I hate politics. Yeah, I, I don't like talking politics. I need. I know the need to keep up with them. Just know what's happening in my world and stay informed. But yeah, at the same time, I don't want to be like ruining my mental state. Yeah, worrying about the world. Yeah, I used to keep up with like, <laughs> like politics, cause in like seventh and sixth grade, I was like Republican, yeah, but I didn't really know anything anyway. <laughs> so it's like, what was I even? Uh, the only politics that I like are uh, 
no politics. Am I right? Oh, that was a good one. Hot take, baby. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, that's our little voice changer bit for the episode. I hope you like that. I'll do it again. Huh? I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. When we run out of things to be funny, we just rely on the voice mod. <laughs> Guys, we completely run out of words, so we're just going to be making noises now. Soup. <laughs> oh, I sound like Post Malone. Listen. <laughs> you probably think you were better now, better now. You should be a singer, dude. Is that good? I should do theater. Wait, you don't do... You you do theater? Uh, no. Absolutely it's not, not like I went to one of your shows or something, you dumb... Um... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said that you absolutely <laughs> we're funny because really... it's like we were swearing but we weren't we were we're really swearing. funny guys this is what it sounded like this is what it sounded like without the bleep I said you dumb funny right literally it funny right guys, we're, the... we're comedy like if you pure... if you search comedy on the on Bing, <laughs> we're what comes up. <laughs> if you search comedy on Yahoo Answers, uh, it's us. Search comedy on Firefox, we're the ones that come up. Popular comedies. If you search comedy on America Online, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be us. Um, If you look up popular comedies, Parasite is the first one that comes up. Dog, I don't think, uh, I don't think that's it. Pretty funny. It's a really funny movie. Kind of like uh, whenever you're talking to somebody and you can't understand them, so you just go, hey, "Yeah, uh, yeah, man." Oh, because I it's, when I was watching it's, the movie. I forgot that it wasn't in American. Yeah, I, I only speak American. Thank you very much. I speak American. Uh, sorry, but I think I speak American. Should we just keep saying okay. that? Okay. Should we just keep before saying we get divisive and before we get canceled? Let's wrap this whole thing up like a, uh, what are we going to wrap it up like, Jake? Like if you had a sandwich from Wendy's, you wrap it up when you take a couple bites out of it because it starts tasting like poo-poo. Uh, did you use this Wendy's? No, I had Wendy's before. I actually had Wendy's right before I got here. I went and got their free four-count nuggies. Thanks, Wendy's. Not sponsored. Are are they just giving them away? Yeah, I I got an order and they gave me four-count nuggie with it for free. Man. I know, it was good, bro. I got Sonic today. (gasps) <gasps> That's the first time I've ever eaten at Sonic. Did you get tots? Uh, no, I just got a three count you mozzarella stick. You idiot! I'm sorry. Come pick me up. Or go I, get, I didn't mean. Come pick me up. We'll go get tots. Uh, I can't leave my house. <laughs> I have Corona. I've left my house a couple times, just going to get going to get some food, going to play at a church, so we can live stream. Just a couple things. That might become a uh. Just an excuse for introverts to stay inside. So, yeah, I have corona. I have corona. I don't want to go. Yeah, I don't feel like going outside. I got the deadly virus anyways. All right, brother. Okay, Jake, you got any closing remarks? Closing remarks. Closing remarks. Yes, I, speak, I speak American. Oh, let's keep making that joke. <laughs> that's that's funny. It's not dead yet. It's not. Um, Stay safe. So- uh, don't go outside right now, cause Rona. Please don't be a protester. I hate. I don't even want to get into it. Please don't protest. Uh, that's yeah. all I got. You got anything? Not get political, but yeah, don't get political. But if you're a protester protesting uh healthcare workers, please, uh, you're I stupid. Beg of you. you are an idiot. All right. I don't like offending people, but you're an absolute moron. <laughs> Colossal moron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are an absolute idiot. Okay. okay, we gotta wrap this up. Nate, All right, I'll wrap, oh, you gotta wrap, play wrap, us out. Wrap, you gotta play us out. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap this up. Let me uh, get an instrument real quick. Jake, you wrap us up with uh, just our Instagram handles or whatever. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People to listen next week and just give people the schedule. You, you know what to do. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen up here, folks. My Instagram handle is Jacob underscore MC dot underscore. His is Nate Man. No caps, no spaces, no underscores, no dots. Make sure to listen next week. We post every Saturday. Uh, the con- It's going to be about 40 minutes long every time, so listen all the way through because it's funny, I hope. And, yeah, Nate should be getting back in one skippy of a gif. Yeah, I'm, I'm already back. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> listen to us on Spotify, oh, yeah. Anchor, uh, YouTube, and SoundCloud. And we're working on getting on Apple Podcasts right now. That yeah. Takes a minute because Apple's a pain in the behind. All righty. Play us out, brethren. Okay. I, got, I got my instrument. Can you hear this? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go.